face masks are the latest essential item for many in Pakistan as the threat of coronavirus spreads. But with a population of 200 million people, appropriate protective equipment isn't affordable for everyone. In poorer neighborhoods and markets in the capital, masks come in different colors and materials, sold for one cent each. For Etisham Kiani, selling masks has improved business. I sew these masks and sell them at cheaper price to earn a living for my family, as people can't afford a quality mask. While these masks are cheap, they're not medically approved and they're not sterile. I know these masks are unhygienic, but I'm only buying it just to avoid police arrest, otherwise I won't buy it due to poverty. Since the government eased lockdown restrictions in mid-May, it declared wearing masks compulsory in public spaces. Government inspectors are checking this bus station and nearby shops. They find that not everyone is adhering to social distancing or wearing protective gear. They proceed to close operations and issue fines. Police checkpoints are also in place to ensure that drivers stick to the rules. Corona situation was the new phenomena. It was new to the police uh, itself. So with this corona, we are facing the uh, conventional crime also, meaning thereby that we have uh, two challenges. Number one is a conventional crime and other is the, this corona challenge. For the violation of SOBs, we have um, uh, this exerted the law and uh, so many uh, people were arrested. But in the slums on the outskirts of Islamabad, having a face mask to combat the virus is a luxury. Families here barely have the basics. Doctors say homemade masks are not effective in preventing the disease from spreading. That's on top of hospitals feeling the strain as they run out of beds and ventilators to treat patients. Medical staff working without surgical masks have also threatened to go on strike this week. Healthcare staff don't have enough protective kits given by the government. On the other side, it was the wrong policy to ease the lockdown without an awareness campaign. People are now using unhygienic homemade masks, and that was one of the main reasons of coronavirus spreading across Pakistan. Infection numbers have grown since markets reopened. The government has rejected calls to impose tough lockdown restrictions because of economic loss and unemployment. More than 100,000 people have tested positive for the virus, and medical experts warn that the next two weeks will be critical for Pakistan. Rahila Mohammed, Al Jazeera.